A historic first in this country. Marijuana is now legal right across the country. And joining me is Toronto Police Chief Mark Saunders. What does this mean for Toronto Police when the clock struck midnight? Well, I, I think what it means for us, it's an opportunity uh, as a country and more importantly as a city that uh, our role still remains the same and that is to make sure that we uh, do everything we can to keep our community safe and everything we can to keep our officers safe and that the biggest key to success for us will be the education piece. I've started that process last week. There's a whole lot of learning for a whole lot of us and in order for us to get it right, it doesn't happen overnight. There is no, quote, magic pill that we have to take in order to make this work well. It's going to take a lot of collaboration, a lot of working with communities, different layers of government, and I think we're all moving in the right direction. It is a real first. I'm sure there will be some stumbling blocks along the way. Yeah, but, but I, I strongly believe that it will give us a, a, an opportunity. I think the research is going to improve substantially. I think the science will Im improve substantially. This is one of the G7's uh, countries that, is, that has made it legal. I think that there will be tremendous funding, and it will provide opportunities. It's harder to do research for unlawful acts, and so there are some hesitation, but now that it's legal, I really do think that it will open the doors for opportunities and give us opportunities to enhance community safety using technology, or whatever other science comes into play. Now, Toronto has had a lot of illegal dispensaries. I know police have raided many over the last year or so. What are you going to do with the ones that are currently defying the provincial government and staying open? Well, they are breaking the law, and, and when this kicked in, the Cannabis Act uh, moved into play. So now it's provincial law. So it's not criminal law anymore. It's provincial law, and it is going to act as a strong deterrent. The provincial government is responsible for distribution, consumption, all of those pieces, and so you can only only purchase online right now until April and then the stores will open. Right. Any storefront that, that's open right now is illegal. But we know some are open. Are Toronto yeah. police going to move in and shut them down? Uh, yes, we will. And we'll be working with the city. We have been working mm -hmm. with the city. Under the new act, what it does is it allows us the ability of not just finding the persons selling. We're talking fines of a quarter, up to a quarter million dollars, two yes less a day uh, for incarceration. So pretty hefty fines, up to $10,000 a day if you continue continue to sell and the landlord also will be responsible and if it's a corporation the fines go up to $25,000 a day for breaching so heavy monetary penalties strong deterrent factors landlords won't have the excuse of saying I didn't know you have to be uh, accountable for who you rent properties to and what activities are taking place and working with the city we're going to be moving towards that very goal. How many are open still right now, to your knowledge, and did you do any raids today? And if not, will you do some tomorrow? Well, I don't want to give up my playbook, but I can tell you we will be executing. Mm -hmm. um, the people that are open are deliberately breaking the law, and what they're doing is they're capitalizing on the monetary gain. Make no mistake about it, as sexy as they try to make it, um, they're in there for the money. We've learned that from the other takedowns in which we had executed. Uh, the money is tremendous. However, again, the big issue is on how it's manufactured, where it's coming from, the black market, we know that. Black market, drugs, human trafficking, and a whole other aspect of things that are, that are horrible and egregious. The, the process of legalizing it is to help reduce and eliminate that. It won't happen overnight, but this is a giant step towards moving in that direction. We don't have a lot of time left, but I know a main concern for many people is uh, the drinking, drugs, and driving. Are you confident that officers have enough tools to be able to catch people who are, are driving while high? Well, again, we have been arresting people for uh, drug impairment for years. This is not new to us. It's an opportunity now to expand on our uh, specialized officers that we have, whether it's the drug recognition evaluators, whether or not it's the standard field sobriety testers. Um, we have uh, a couple of hundred of those that are out there on the road 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, there'll be, we know that there'll be an increase. Uh, we've received a few phone calls uh, through communications of people smoking marijuana, entering into vehicles. That is a taboo and we'll do everything that we can to reduce and eliminate that from happening. All right, Chief Saunders, thank you very much for joining okay. us. Thanks, Cynthia.